Hey YouTube, thought I'd do another fish room tour video. I'm just gonna do the basement fish room today, so you'll mainly see the cichlid tanks. Um, I'm gonna see about trying to keep uploading regularly here. Um, so I'm gonna, at this point, say that I'm gonna separate things out again with kind of the cichlid fish room tours, the shrimp, the salt water, and then uh, you're gonna see a video coming up also of a new tank that I set up in my office, which a lot of people, especially the cichlid uh, people that follow this channel may think I'm crazy, uh, may not even like it, uh, but it's something that I just decided to do um, and uh, I'm really digging it. So that being said, uh, we'll start the tour here. Oh, actually no, before we start the tour, I wanna let everyone know that um, we're running a Black Friday sale for Aquatic Support Systems. Uh, go to the website AquaticSupportSystems.com and you're going to get 20% off everything on the site um, when you use coupon code Black Friday 20 percent 20. So that's Black Friday, all one word, the number 20, the percent sign, and then the number 20 again. Um, I'll have that in the description below, hopefully, if I remember, and then also. Um, There'll be a post right on the website that says it, and I'll send out some uh, emails if you're on my email list as well. So, and I'll, and I'll post on all the socials as well about that. So everything on the website, including Southern Delight, those of you that in, um, enjoy watching my cichlids know that I feed 100% Southern Delight. Um, well, almost 100%. Once in a while I supplement in a couple things like Bug Bites and Bug Pro and stuff like that. But anyway. Um, I thought I would uh, let you guys know that if you haven't tried Southern Delight uh, for your cichlids, that now would be a great time uh, to give it a shot because you're going to get 20% off. Regular size bottles, bulk bottles, bulk bottle two packs, uh, whatever you need. Also, um, I sell a lot of shrimp food for those of you that follow this channel that are into shrimp keeping. Um, look at this guy. Um, Shrimp King, Glass Garden, Salty Shrimp are the main brands that we carry at this point and 20% off of all those. Um, those are popular items. I got full stock of everything uh, that you're going to need as far as the Southern Delight, the Glass Garden, and the Salty Shrimp. Shrimp King, uh, they're a little behind on getting stuff in from Germany, so a couple of the items on those I am sold out on, but anyway, uh, great deals. The best sale that I run um, Anytime during the year is 20%. I never never give any bigger discounts than that. So check that out and check out this fish room tour. All right, I'm gonna start over on this end of the room today with uh, the uh, single Trimac in a 75 gallon. He's doing real good, looking real good. Um, been real feisty lately. Um, just really enjoy this fish. Uh, he's been a good wet pet. Um, potentially I could uh, swap him out with the other male and, and give him to and, and try to pair him up with the female in the 180. I, he started out actually with that female and he was really hard on her so I, I swapped out him for the male that's currently in there but this one is much better much a much better looking specimen sorry about the scratches this is an old tank that's really been through the ringer but uh, you can still see how nice he is. Uh, down below here is the, um, where, where's the male? Um, is the convict pair. They breed all the time. Um, I don't believe they have, uh, there, yeah, there's some fry. Not a lot, uh, unless they're all in hiding, but um, they breed all the time now for me. Um, I haven't pulled any. I'm hoping to just you know, that they'll just kind of take care of, of a batch and can grow them out in this tank and get a big tank full of convicts uh, would be what I really want to do at, at some point. So hopefully that'll happen. And here is the Midas grow out tank. You saw a short video that I posted on this last week, if you follow my channel, where I had two spawns going on. Um, we had uh, the Midas pair, or, or, or a pair, two that had paired up and spawned in here. Um, I don't think I ever posted anything on YouTube, but I did post a short video of a big swarm of uh, 
fry, a big cloud that they had. They've since been eaten. Um, I, you know, knew it wasn't gonna, knew that they wouldn't survive in a tank like this. There's just too many other predators in here. And then uh, the jewel pair, they spawned and they had kept a cloud of fry over in this area by these rocks for quite some time. That also has since been gone. And then, <laughs> on top of that, this th there's another male and female that paired off and you can see they laid some eggs on this driftwood back there. Not many, or if they did, they've already hatched them and they're hiding, they've got wigglers hiding somewhere. So there's all sorts of uh, hormones going on in this tank right now. But anyway, that's what I can tell you about that. Down here are the uh, red devils. These are Amphilophus citronellus, by the way, or Midas cichlids, and then the red devils are Amphilophus labiatus. These guys have been super skittish lately and kind of pale. Um, they're eaten and everything, but they hide more than more than not. And uh, the one dominant male, I think it's a male, is right there under the tube. Um, and then, so you can see a bunch of them right there hiding. They hide in this pot a lot. When I feed them, they do usually come out. I already fed this morning. I should have waited. I didn't, I wasn't planning on doing a video actually. I should have waited to do a video um, until it was feeding time. There's another one that's pretty big. But anyway, not much to see there. Okay, and then these guys spawned as well, the Umbi pair. Um, you can see a little, little fry. Whenever they spawn, there's a, a ton of eggs and a ton of wigglers, but then when it comes to free swimmers, there just isn't a ton usually. Um, she's just, I guess, not doing the best job as a mother. Sorry for the uh, algae spots on the tank glass, or actually in this case, it's uh, acrylic, but here's, uh, <clears throat> he, well, first of all, here's uh, Matrix, um, or excuse me, Matrix is the female, um, Optimus is this guy's name. Um, these are uh, Chronoharis umbriferum if you're new to this channel or new to this type of fish. He's really gone, gone through a growth spurt lately. Um, to me, it just seems I've noticed that his thickness, he's gotten thicker and he's gotten longer. And uh, yeah, he's just doing real well. She's doing real well too, as you can see. There's a little bit of fry there. But uh, yeah, they spawned on this rock right here instead of in the uh, flower pot. Um, so that's what's going on with them. I'm trying to move this along as quickly as I can. My last video ended up being like 30 minutes and I'm assuming you guys probably don't wanna listen to me for that long, but maybe you do, I don't know. Um, here's Cheeto, um, he's doing good. This is another Midas cichlid or Amphilophus citronellus. Um, I swapped females. I put the female that was in with his brother because his brother was really getting pretty hard on that female. And Cheeto is a lot more calm and subdued. And so they've been getting along fine. Um, you can see on the side, it's he had some scarring from, from this guy biting on him. And uh, it's starting to heal up. <clears throat> and then, you know, I put these guys together and they kind of hit it off for the most part. Um, her spawning tubes starting to come down. Um, they were they've been showing some some behavior. Um, I don't know if, if it'll happen or not. He is a little rough on her too, but not nearly as rough as he was on the other. Um, so we're gonna hope that something happens there. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I was filming this tank, but anyway, that doesn't matter. We'll just kind of go back and forth here. Um, the other thing that I really paid a lot of attention to lately is how much bigger this guy has is compared to his brother you can't probably tell a lot on the video but Cheeto is quite a bit smaller than his brother his brother doesn't have a name that's why I just call him his brother his nuchal hump is a lot bigger as well um, but at any rate I would say the coloration and everything on Cheeto is, is a much better He's a much better looking specimen, but uh, this guy is a lot more active and a lot more aggressive and stuff like that. Um, both just really fun fish to have. I mean, couldn't be happier with them. 
Uh, down below here is the uh, Redis latest pair. If you go back to my last video where I did a full tour, you'll notice that the nuchal hump on this guy is much bigger. The male, they've been really showing spawning behavior since I turned the heaters on for the winter. And they haven't done it yet, but she's hanging out in the pot all the time. Her tube's partially down. Their tail tail flapping or tail slapping and their head head wiggling, you know, the, all, the, all the behaviors that you typically see. And their colors have gotten a little more pronounced like, like fish do a lot of times when they're about to spawn. So keeping my fingers crossed here, these guys, you know, over the course of their adult life, they've spawned for me just a few times. Um, my buddy James Randall has some, some really nice looking specimens that came from this pair um, from one of their spawns. Um, you know, typically they spawn like once a year maybe, but at any rate. That's these guys. You can see her tube there when she turned. Uh, the Trimax, not a lot to report there. They haven't uh, shown any spawning activity or anything. They've, she hides a lot. Although once I've tur turned the heaters on for the winter, um, she's come out of hiding a lot more and she's out. So they've spawned for me in the past. I uh, never had a clutch of fry that made it, but I did, they did come get to free swimmers at one point so anyway these guys are doing good as you can see he's doesn't have the coloration and stuff as uh, as nice as the other one but he's still a good fish um, I enjoy watching him he's he's been growing um, kind of a growth spurt lately I would say and we showed you these guys already um, one thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning that I also sell on the website now, AquaticSupportSystems.com, are these uh, Green Pleco, that's the brand name, um, plush toys. And the cool thing about them is, I'll just grab the goldfish here, uh, working with one hand. Um, all of these, they have this suction cup right there so you can hang them on a tank. Like here's one of the Plecos that I've got up on this tank. You can hang them on any glass or mirror or anything, put them in your car window if you want, whatever. But there's all sorts of different, um, you know, this guy that started this company, Milton, um, started it with doing just plecos. So there's a sunshine here. This is a white long fin. These are these blue phantom ones. These actually glow in the dark. A um, bunch of different plecos, as you can see. Um, and then he put out the goldfish and the frontosa. Frontosa is really cool. And, uh, and then some smaller ones here, like uh, there's a red and blue betta, betta, and there's a red betta, if I can find one. There's a clown loach you can see right there. Whoops, they're falling on me now. Here's the red betta. Pretty cool. Um, for you shrimp keepers, there are, where's the shrimp? They have a crystal red shrimp. These things sell like crazy, everyone loves them. Um, Here's the crystal red shrimp, pretty cool. Uh, like I said, there's a clown loach. Um, there's some quarries, um, red tiger sharks, uh, rainbow sharks, stuff like that. So these are really good gift ideas too. Um, all of them, like here's the clown loach, they all have the suction cup. Like here's a shrimp on one of my shrimp tanks right here. These things are cool, you just stick them to a tank. And uh, fun, good gift for the kids too. Um, let's go over here to the flower horn. This is the Compha 9.9 .9 Compha. Uh, his name's Colossus. He's doing real good lately. I think I talked about this in a prior video, but I, um, I've got some African cichlids that I pulled out of my African tank upstairs. These are just Mabunas, different powder blues. Um, they just weren't doing well in that tank and they weren't coloring up and there was just, I had too many blues in there. So I put them down in this tank and they're doing just fine with this flower horn. Um, and uh, he loves loves having company in there from what I can tell. Um, his patterns are just looking really nice on the new goal. Let's see if we can get him from the side view, get him to come down here. This guy's just real fun. Um, the other flower horn up here, I think I said this in the last video, but I'm thinking about rehoming this one. I've got some ideas on what I'm gonna do for this entire rack right here. Probably gonna become a, a shrimp rack. And then there's, uh, I'm gonna rehome this guy too. This is a uh, a uh, red tiger moda male. 
um, Rio Blanco. And then over here with really bad looking glass because of algae are the um, the grow outs uh, from my Nendopsis hadiensis. Um, I've got eight of them in there total and uh, some of them are really starting to show some promise like this guy. Look at the black on him. If you can get him to turn to the side. And this one here. Hoping to get a pair out of these. Just being patient with them, letting them grow out. Um, and seeing, seeing them do their thing, so. That's about all I got today for the fish room tour. I wanna to thank everybody for watching. Again, sorry to talk about this so much, but it's important because it's a great discount. 20% off starting tomorrow on Thanksgiving, if I, if I get this posted on Wednesday through Cyber Monday. So it's a Black Friday, it's a Thanksgiving Black Friday, Small Business Saturday and Cyber Monday sale. And Sunday, just whatever. <laughs> but 20% uh, off everything in the uh, at AquaticSupportSystems.com, all the fish food, all those plecos I showed you, um, just everything we sell. Um, great time to try a new product if you are not, haven't tried Southern Delight or haven't tried, if you're a shrimp keeper and you haven't tried Glass Garden, you haven't tried Shrimp King, 20% off. It's also a great time to stock up um, and, uh, you know, save yourself some money, buy a bunch of stuff uh, in all in one package so that you're saving money and, uh, you know, shipping ends up being cheaper because you got stuff all in one package. Uh, I want to thank everybody that watches these videos. Um, you know, it's it's really humbling to, to hear all of your comments when I posted that, that video a few weeks ago, the, you know, first time in, in several months. And everybody that gave me condolences about my mom, I, I sure appreciate that. You know, every day gets gets a little bit better, but you sure you sure miss somebody when they do pass away, and I miss my mom like crazy. Um, but I appreciate all the kind words and people reaching out and stuff like that. So, um, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. I post regular updates uh, on all my fish tanks. I keep cichlids like you just watched here. I keep dwarf shrimp. I keep. Uh, I've got two saltwater reef tanks. And I've got an African cichlid tank, it's a Mabuna tank, and one new tank that hopefully uh, I'll get a video done and you'll see real soon, something that uh, you'll probably be surprised about, so stay tuned for that. All right guys, thanks for watching, have a happy Thanksgiving, and if I don't happen to do another video before Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. Later.